Uh, About ready for stream. Got my iced coffee. Should I do the intro? Oh wow, there's audio. There's audio on that one. I didn't realize that. About ready for stream. All right. It's a great song, but uh, can't do it. Have a good stream, my dude. I'm gonna go draw on Twitch. Oh, you're you're also streaming. All right, see you, Galen. Have a good have a good stream as well. I'm not here for you to win everything. I'm here if you are struggling as a backup. I appreciate that. Mystical mine, Ash Blossom. All right, uh, bu -bu -bu. it's just a rare piece of media from Japan that doesn't involve a slice of life, school children. As yeah, I think Library of Ruin is pretty anime. Um, but, you know, uh, to each, to each their, you know, that sounded, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty anime. Um, should I risk getting copyrighted, copyright claimed? <laughs> Black screen. All right, we're going to start, a, I'm starting a fresh game. That was the, the game I, I just destroyed. Um, that was like two hours of play, whatever. Scene one, canard. Sorry. Oh, wrong one. Oops. Uh, canard. There you go. Uh, I, I have the Japanese um, voices on. Should I turn on the English one, or should I turn the voices off and narrate the game myself? What would what would chat like? I could keep the Japanese on, turn it down, and then also narrate it. Uh, me, melee songs will play at key fights if you want or not. Oof. That's a dang shame. It's Korean. Oh, whoops. Oops. My bad. Either English or narrate yourself. Sugui. Uh, all right. Language, English. So, um, I don't know if I have an option. I'll just turn the voice off and then narrate myself. I hate it when weebs insist on having the original language. I can explain why I do that, but I don't think it would matter. I still cannot leave this place. Even at the end of all of this, I cannot be free. Also, heavy content warning on this one. If, if first of all, if you are, uh, uh, how do I do this? If you're underage, this is not a stream for children anymore. <laughs> it never was, but it's it, it's especially not now. Content warnings on this game. Uh, there's going to be violence and uh, trauma and lots lots of lots of touchy subjects. If you do not, if you're not down for that, and I will do this content warning on each stream then I would recommend not watching this game. I say that in earnest, not in jest. Um, all right. It's a good voice acting there. You're actually going to miss a lot, in my opinion. All right. Well, you got to... Sacrifices must be made. Well, I don't know. Maybe... maybe We'll, we'll, we'll switch it up later. Maybe. Uh, am I not allowed to have a dream that is beyond my means? All right. Well, hold on. Well, when I had the voice on, it was in it was in Korean. So I don't know. Am I supposed to change up the? Ooh, am I supposed to change up the language in and on the main menu? Also, is it just me or is the resolution like really low right now? No, texture quality high. Weird, okay. All right, I'm gonna turn the, sorry uh, for, you know, the beginning of this game was gonna be a bit of a troubleshoot in the first place. Damn it, the purple tear. Wait, I just, I just turned you off, stop it. Can't, hold on a second. Uh, nope, wrong one again. Can't believe this is how she handled it. What the hell happened? What's with all the smoke? Sigh. <laughs> Guess I'll have to trust her. 
I'll only say this once. I despise verbose and roundabout speech that doesn't get straight to the point. So don't try to get wordy, just answer my questions. You don't get to question me either. Whether you did, wh where did you come from and how did you enter this place? And for what purpose? Well, who are you two? Ugh. Boy, I'm suddenly getting all nauseous. Ugh, my leg. Ah, Wait. Uh, ah. There you go. Here is the Chad Lowland. I warned you, and you crossed the line. Let me ask you one more time. Where did you come from, and how did you enter this place, and for what purpose? I was just walking around and ended up here before I even realized it. I have no idea how I got here. Damn. Blood's gushing out of my right leg. I swear I wasn't trying to press mass. I don't even know where this is. I woke up around 1 p.m. and started walking around the streets of District 13. Since I was just out and about, I, sp I figured I could go wherever I wanted, so I decided to drop my ham ham pang pang. What is that? Heard they served a weekly special sandwich. Anyway, I had bills to pay, got no jobs, had to make a living somehow as a one-man office. Ah. Man, Bimple is very expressive today. Yeah, wait. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, now, chat is talking about Dubs v. Subs, the oldest uh, <laughs> debate known to anime. It is it is as old as anime itself. I like the dubs. Yeah, but Goku was better in the dubs. Yeah, but I like the subs. Yeah. Ah, you dragged on too long. I'll be wait taking your left arm and left leg next. You have no purpose and you don't even know how you got here. Just who are you? Just an ordinary fixer who's hit rock bottom. What the hell is this place? And who are you? Ah, come on. Taking two limbs at once? That's cheating. I'm the one asking questions. Your name? Roland. Roland, 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 Roland. Roland. Okay, good. Welcome to the library. We've yet to serve any guests. But then you suddenly appeared out of nowhere. It took me quite a bit of effort designing this library to ensure that no inv uninvited guests could enter, you see. Some voices give a lot of character. Damn it, these limbs were all I had. I don't have any cash or mortgages to get new ones anymore. Seems he's fainted. Wake up. Gasp. My legs and my arms. Wait, they're all in intact again? You should be able to swing your arms and walk again. I made a few readjustments to your body to make it a bit easier to use. Although you did trespass on my library, I also took your limbs away without your consent, so I'm giving you these as an apology. I'm quite patient and generous, you see. Patient, my ass. Am I really supposed to be thankful for this? Uh, everyone calls him Lowland. And the, uh, your warning isn't in effect anymore, right? Nope, not anymore. I had a few thoughts while you were knocked out. Here's my conclusion. You'll help me get out. Uh, you'll help me out here. <clears throat> what? Do syndicates these days kidnap people this way too? Or is this one of the wings? I heard rumors that they abduct test subjects from here and there are for singularity research. Oh, is that a is that a reference to uh, lobotomy research? I forget what it was called. Something. The other game. An acquaintance of mine apparently began jumping between dimensions as a side effect of one of those experiments. My life really is an unlucky mess. This is a library, I don't know the syndicates you're talking about, but this place isn't a wing, at least. Doesn't really matter, whatever the case, I'm trapped here and you'll exploit me, right? Yes. I am letting you live for two reasons. First, I need an analysis of how you could enter this place uninvited. Sending you back or neglecting you without knowing the reason could pose a significant threat to the library. It's not like you can leave without my permission anymore. Hi. Hello, Wei? How do I say your name? The simps are arguing over stuff. Calm down, my simps. Calm, Calm down. No. <laughs> yeah, 
They're acting as in different languages, comparing the two different voice actors. We're still doing. Stop it. Second, from now on, I will collect books about the city in research of the one absolute book. And I want you to help me with this process. Since you are a resident of the city, I expect you to be helpful in various ways. I knew this would happen to me someday. <laughs> yeah? Did you? Did you think, really, you were gonna get stuck in some kind of interdimensional library? You really thought that one, huh? I don't believe you, actually. People would disappear without a trace, only to be found as chunks of flesh much later. I used to laugh at those poor folks for being careless and unlucky, but now I see it as has nothing to do with carelessness or anything. It just happens without a moment's notice. Don't be too concerned about your life. You're not allowed to die here unless I permit you to. Damn it. So this was a crazy laboratory sort of deal. Do you like shove random stuff like corn kernels and clockwork into people's stomach and turn them into walking popcorn? Spewing popcorn machine men or something? Is that another reference to lobotomy thing? This has to be, this has got to be the worst. I'd much rather die and be over with it all. If you spout such nonsense one more time, I'll gladly turn you into a human popcorn machine as you so wish. I've already gone through so many cycles of bullshittery, responding to every bit of meaningless rubbish. Sorry, ma'am. Let me introduce myself properly. My name is Angela. I am the head librarian and director of this library. Angela. That's a good name. So what am I supposed to do? Sorry, Angela. Probably in bad taste, but someone told me that was true. Concept of a huge library reminds me of that one episode from Avatar. I love that episode. That's That whole series is just great. Your role is to welcome the guests invited to the library. I will carefully determine what guests to invite and write an in invitation accordingly, and you will entertain the guests once they accept the invitation and arrive at the library. I have the argument of original voice acting as being very good, usually. Since you have actual experience working as a fixer, I am sure you will be able to give the various types of guests a much better reception than I could. I'm just a washed up grade 9 fixer though. What's this reception all about anyway? Do I catch their eyes? Or be a waiter for them or something? It's simple. Big simple. Sorry. Big simple. You just have to deal with the guests. In a physical manner, of course. The library presents the guests with an ordeal, and books will open up in the process. The guests who have overcome the ordeal will be deemed worthy to earn their books. There is the possibility that you may die in the process of reception, but it's only temporary. You'll get back up when the library closes. No one here may rest without my permission. Hello. Do you happen to have some weird fantasies about fixers? Aren't you expecting too much from a grade 9? I'm not as talented as you seem to think, you know. That's none of my business. I have prepared a manual for you. So go ahead and figure things out for yourself. I think I get the gist of it now. So how does this invitation exactly work? Open up the invitation and register the books you wish to serve to your guests. And then... The invitation will be naturally sent to those who need the books. That's it. Sounds a bit too easy. The invitation is another carefully crafted work of mine, much like the library. Yes, think of it as a compass. It would be easier to understand that way. A compass, as in the tool that tells direction. Why do they have to over-explain these things? That's right. The invitations will guide me towards the one book that I truly wish to obtain. And sometimes the invitation may turn red according to the books you've registered. Just a washed up grade 9 fixer. I, was pers I personally was an assassin in the ninth grade, so this story totally checks out. A red invitation indicates that it can be sent to the special guests who will unravel the next part of the story. Until we register the books that match what the red invitation wants, our journey will be halted for a bit. But there's no guarantee that the guests will always respond to the invitation, right? In fact, there is. They're destined to come. And the guests will accept the invitation of their own will and in enter the library. That's surprisingly polite and fair for something that takes place in this city. Most of the time, people's lives are taken away by others without any consent or agreement. Well, anyway, once we get those books, what comes next? The library is a place of limitless possibilities. Even I cannot fathom the infinite space and power of this library just yet. 
That's why I wish to complete the library by filling that space with books. I'll give you one good reason why I shouldn't go with the original voices is because I know for a fact that they are pretty intense and therefore they are going to take a while. Um, this game is, if, if I actually manage to get through it, is already going to take months. So I, I would argue that um, going with my own narration is just going to save us some time. I'm not going to skip the story, but I am going to um, speed read. I will get in my hands the one perfect book that will complete me and my library. The perfect book, huh? I suppose those books are different from the ones I know. Oh no. Open. Yeah, sorry. Sure wish I didn't have to destroy the integrity of the game by uh, skipping the opening cutscene. Sure wish I didn't have to do that. Oh well. A reception begins by sending an invitation to guests whom you want to invite. You'll want to navigate to the question mark to begin this process. Okay, so there's going to be a bit of tutelage. Um, so, uh, first of all... People were complaining about Gilgamesh. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, they were. Alright, so uh, we're clicking on the question mark, select the episode you'd like to play. With this panel you'll, be pro panel, you'll provide the set of books required to start the episode. This one? Books of the day. Book of something. This screen shows the list of books currently in the library's possession. Select the needed book now. Continue along with the final preparations for the invitation. Gilgamesh did take months. When you're ready to send the invitation, confirm your choice and send the send. Click the send button. Hey, hurry up and scrape them up now. Those way goons might arrive any second. Someone in chat, let me know how to pronounce that one. I'm doing my best here. I just can't seem to get a clean up, clean rip of his guts. The contents of this guy are weirdly different. I've never heard of a body modification pre procedure that does this. Something's off about those these organs. They're looking really strange. Damn it. Their footsteps are getting closer. Forget about clean gut, uh, cuts. Just pull them out and take them. At this rate, our hand, heads are going to get nicely chopped off of our bodies. Why does he have this kind of stuff in his body? Whatever, just take him. We're out of time. Just about done. Now run. That was close. You're a bold one, Pete. Going for a gut harvest in a territory managed by this vi? These are the only jobs we have left. We have to climb up by any means necessary, whatever it takes. You know my dream, right? To become one of the fingers of the back streets. I'll admit it's rare to see someone with a dream these days. Let's sell all of these guts we've hauled first. We gotta prepare enough cash to or offer to the stray dogs. It's true, this could be our chance to join an urban legend class syndicate. All right, time to check out the harvest. I wasn't kidding. This game is going to get violent. Yep. Violent. All right, time to check out the harvest. Hey, is this a joke? You sure you scraped up the right stuff? I told you, this guy didn't have a single proper organ inside him. I expected innards soaked in drugs like... Encephalin? <laughs> what is that? One of the fingers of the backstreet, boys. That was my dream. Is this China? No, <laughs> it's Korea. Maybe. It's fantasy Korea. Also, every mentioned name is going to return in this story, so don't skip them. Okay. These are damaged too badly. It's almost like someone already blew them up. We only doused them with anesthetics. Didn't do no harm. This doesn't make sense. How could we have even walked around with these messed up organs? What if it's one of those? You know, rumors say there's a guy who skewers and threads people alive to turn them into dolls. Jesus. Yeah, I've heard of that too, but look at the state of these things. Not not the case at all. I hear the, those dolls are made by threading flesh. <laughs> Yo, maybe my content warning was not uh, warning enough. But this son of a bitch didn't have any scars or stitches showing in outside. Now that I think about it, there was a round orange symbol on the back of his neck. 
Syndicates are not sanctioned by government, and that's the difference. Why are they harvesting guts? We'll find out. I thought it was a tattoo at first, but he didn't seem like the type to have one. He was a desk-working dweeb. Symbols, tattoos, damn it. Please don't tell me we poked the wrong beehive. Besides that, he also had this envelope in his body. What the hell is that en an envelope doing in a human body? This keeps getting worse. Give me that. An invitation to a library? What's this about? Books? We can get books from the library? What a bunch of nonsense. Are you saying when I, are you, are you saying by not, don't skip the names by like reading them out? Like this is Lenny? L Lenny? Zvi or stray dogs aren't Korean words. Has a lot of augmentation plus organs sell. Payment is due tomorrow. We've got seven hours to be exact. There's too little time for another run of gut harvesting. Uh, I'm also going to let y'all know in chat there is a bouts of story like this, um, similar to a visual novel, and then there's going to be quite a bit of gameplay. So if you're starting to worry, don't. We will get to gameplay, I promise. But uh, this is a game that um, demands a bit of patience with the beginning. So I will demand a little bit of patience <laughs> with the beginning of this playthrough. That's too little time for another run of gut harvesting. We're heading to the library as the invitation says. I don't know what this book thing is, but we're out of options. We gotta take any chance we get. You know, am I correct in assuming that they don't know what a book is? Isn't this just suicide? We don't know what kind of place it might be. Can't be any worse than dying to the stray dogs of the Zvi Association. We're screwed anyway. Shut up and follow me if you want to live. What was that we just saw? Fragments of the inv we that was called a cutscene, Roland. Do you know what a cutscene is? You damn fool. Uh, they mentioned organization names like Zvi, Stray Dogs, or Roland said that at the beginning, Purple Tear. Oh. Fragments of the invitation process. We can take a peek at the stories of our upcoming guests. Didn't take you for a peeping Tom. It's more convenient to know what kind of guests will visit us in advance, isn't it? Besides, this is the invitation's will, not mine. That's a splendid thing you got there, ma'am. Pries upon people and kidnaps them too. A perfect tool for crimes. Heck, if the invitation can do all that, why don't we just skip the whole reception part? Can't we just teleport them right into a room full of traps or something? I can't do that. We can only take a peek when it has been decided that the guests are coming here of their own volition. And the invitation's power isn't wholly mine either. I am simply borrowing it. Yeah, yeah. No way, any, no way anything can go smoothly in this city. They're desperate guests. Tell me, was the invitation responsible for that symbol and internal damage as well? What? No, not a chance. It doesn't have anything to do with that. What happened? The invitation simply finds a way to, to those who need it. That means those weird happenings were something someone else is doing. I've never seen that kind of phenomenon back when I was a fixer. It's like something from the ruins. Ruins? <clears throat> I don't know a whole lot either. I only heard stories of it. Should I describe it as magic? That kind of stuff exists in the ruins, apparently. In any case, we simply greet our guests. They seem to be low class, but oh well. Those are probably a bunch of lowly gangsters from the back streets. We call them rats. Rat street boys are back. Groups of half-assed thugs that barely qualify as a syndicate. They don't even, they don't have money or power. They're losers who only think about making ends meet day by day. I might have just roasted myself there. <laughs> the back streets, I know of them. You do? Someone I know was from the back streets. Well, that's nothing special, really. The back streets stretch all over the city like veins. Heck, it might actually be tougher to find someone who isn't from the back streets. So this is a library. Looks fancier than I thought. Could be a bunch of valuable things here. Greetings, dear guests. This is the library. And I am Angela, the librarian of my roles and namesake. You may find what you desire here, but you also may end up yielding your precious possessions to me. You, the owner of this place? We're allowed to take whatever we want here, right? Indeed, you may earn books to be exact. If you're able, of course. Are those books things really worth a lot though? Of course they can be, if the information they hold is valuable. Mang Chi, beggars can't be choosers. We gotta cling on to anything we can find. May you find your book in this place then. 
Uh, don't worry, world is explained through the game as you progress. I am so glad the backstream points finally got their recognition they deserve with this game. All right. We are in the gameplay phase. <laughs> Uh, up here you can see some bare information about the librarians who will participate in the reception like Roland. In this section you can view detailed information about the selected character. Underneath you can check the list of combat pages the selected character will use in the reception. Info on the guests that have accepted the invitation on the library is shown here. In this section you can view detailed information about the selected character. Underneath, you can check the list of combat pages. Uh, all right. So this is where I immediately am lost, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Select this bar or press the relevant button to start the battle when you have finished reviewing all available information. So we have our three lads here who are going to fight us and we have the cards that they are likely to play. So deck buildy. Um, the difference is this is not really a deck building game in the in the sense of like you don't well the, the, the word deck builder has been kind of bastardized unfortunately but basically we have a deck that we can tweak whenever we want um, and pull cards in and out uh, that being said every character has a deck that they are going to be playing from so there's many decks that we have to tweak um, and uh, I think the main gimmick is that um, much like Pokemon, we can acquire gangsters and people and uh, they can become books that we use in uh, st in our, our standard combat. I think also we have the option of maybe sacrificing them and then gaining one of their pages. Like there's a lot of stuff in this game. It's a really deep game. <laughs> This text describes the ability of the page, usually activated, activated upon use. In combat, three types of offensive dice exist, each corresponding to a different damage type. This icon represents a slash damage type. Um, a slash type attack will be performed, so slash. Um, playing an offensive die with a pierce icon will perform pierce type. And then this is blunt. Slash, pierce, blunt. I'll remember eventually, slash, pierce, blunt. Okay. The ability on an action of an action die written on its right may activate when the die is played. Based on its condition, most ac abilities activate when the, the attack hits the target or the die wins in a clash against an opposing die. What does that mean? I mean, I think maybe part of why I get lost in this game is because they over explain things. Does Is this literally just saying two competing dies are rolled and then the higher one wins. Um, during battle, using combat pages needs a resource called light. The amount of light a character currently has is indicated by the number of yellow icons above them. You mean to say we can capture kids and have them fight each other for our amusement? Ugh. It's just shackled to a lot of anime story that's told in long cutscenes. All right. When the scene begins, press the spacebar to roll the speed dice. A higher speed value offers the following advantages. If the enemy speed is lower than yours, you can redirect their attacks to you. Characters with higher speed values can act first. Please select the speed dice on the librarian. This is the librarian's hand of combat pages, aka cards. Please select one of them. Uh, so I have a certain amount of light, so I, let's just open with a light attack. Select the speed dice of an opposing character to target their, them with an attack. By pressing Q or clicking on the icon, you can toggle quick mode. In quick mode, the action dice are rolled automatically during battle, allowing combat play to play out smoothly. All right, let's hit Q then. With this ability, with this utility, you can automatically fill the librarian's speed dice with the combat pages in their hands. Targets are randomly determined. This makes the battle process proceed quicker. Oh, I see that this is like 
once you're in a position where you're very comfortable with your set, you can just like let things play out automatically instead of like automatic uh, manually assigning attacks. At the cost of precision and strategy. These are visual indicators showing who the librarian and guests are currently targeting for their attack. This up here toggles them by pressing one, two, and three. By pressing the spacebar or clicking the icon after the speed dice have been rolled, you can begin the combat phase. Uh, quick mode is off. Show the guest target. So they're all targeting me. And then that means I'm targeting them. And then the third one is who knows. Oh, I see. Mm, I don't really see. What does this one mean? Clashes. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I got it. All right. We'll hit space. When only one of the two opposing characters has dice to play, a one-sided attack occurs. Um, this happens when a character targets an enemy that isn't targeting them back. Only offensive dice are played in one-sided attacks. Only offensive dice are played in one-sided attacks. The defensive dice will be re retained until the scene ends or an enemy attempts a one-sided attack. I know at least some of what it's about. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's got a very anime style story. I Yeah, I don't think that saying that it's anime is an insult. I, I watch and enjoy a lot of anime, so I don't mean that as an insult at all. Um, it, it When I say it's very anime, what I mean is that it has a pretty intense, long form storyline that um, is... It, takes the form of a specific style um, okay when both characters in an engagement have dice to play a clash occurs this usually occurs when the speed dice of two characters target each other at clash the results of actions are determined by comparing their roles offensive dice can only deal damage equal to the role by winning the clash interactions between defensive dice fall mm. so this is this, they do a lot of over explaining here maybe or maybe this is just very complex and I don't understand it. That's, there's block dice, winning a clash versus offensive dice, losing a clash versus offensive. Oh, I see. Winning a clash means completely blocks the damage. Losing means mitigate incoming damage by the roll value. Winning means, um, oh, winning a clash versus defensive dice deals stagger damage equal to the roll value. I'm not sure if I understand that last one. So if two, if a clash occurs between two characters and they both rolled defensive dice, then deals stagger damage. So they both stagger each other? It, oh, I see. Well, no, they don't both stagger each other. The winner staggers the loser. Okay. And then evade dice. Winning completely negates damage. Oh, I see. This is all. Okay. Deals stagger damage to the attacker by the difference in value. So block will stagger an attacker. Evade will evade damage completely. Um, drawing a clash versus offensive dice. Oh, I see. When it draws, completely negates damage. The evade die is lost. Winning a clash versus defensive dice. The character recovers stagger resist. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and attempt to rein in and chat. I don't think that anyone is saying that the game is bad. And uh, I, I think that everyone's kind of on the same page, no pun intended, with uh, Library of Ruina. So, um, you know, let's let's all let's all cool, cool it. Cool it, okay? Cool. You know, <laughs> that's all I got. I'm almost at the end of this game. I don't feel any of this Kawaii Desu schoolgirls. Well, that's... That's what we're saying, is it doesn't have that in it. Everybody's literally saying it doesn't have that in it. Alright. I, I think there's a miscommunication going in chat. But I, I think that actually we're all on the same page. Um, Alright. We'd better be, we'd be, we're better off harvesting organs. So now we have a light attack versus a what? Is this a defensive die or an evasion die? I 
max damage. Book of Rats obtained. So, since I wasn't defending, the other two did damage to me. Taking physical damage will decrease the character's HP, indicated by the red gauge. When the HP of a librarian or a guest is brought down to zero, they will die. Guests who meet their demise in the library will be resolved into books. The higher the guest's emotion level was, the more likely they are to yield books in greater quantity or quality upon death. Even if a librarian dies during combat, they will rise again once the reception is over. Okay, so we're rolling. We rolled a two. Um, that just That's just our speed die, right? So that has no bearing on how much damage we're going to do. That being said, we can, wait. Okay, we, we, we could do a focus strike. This, so this is three attacks. And we could do a charging cover, which means we're gonna do uh, a attack and also some defense, or we could do a light defense. What happens when uh, two characters have the same speed in their die? Please use quick mode, it's in the top left corner. No, I'm, I wanna learn how to play the game, for sure. Uh, I will use it when I think it's, we're at a comfortable stage and I know how the mechanics work. Um, all right, so I've used an attack, so I, I'm, uh, doing an attack and then defending. We don't know what they're doing yet. So th now they're attacking and we've done a two to six. So we've only defended two, but I think that was enough to defend against two attacks. So I think that was pretty good. So we could do um, a defense and attack. That would that means we would be attacking first. We might want to do a, a pretty bold attack because that means we're we're going to be attacking first, right? So they're going to be attacking as well, but they're not going to get a chance to attack because we're oh. Okay, so your attacks do not roll over to other enemies. So I attacked one enemy, but even though I had two attacks left, they don't roll over to the second enemy. I've, I've been playing Gilgamesh for like two months, so I, I kind of expect the attacks to roll over. That's okay. Okay, so our speed is lower this time, so we're gonna wanna play some defense. All right, so we staggered them and then we attacked them, nice. And they're staggered and they're weak. I know this is just a tutorial and this is gonna be an easy combat. Things were, are gonna get very difficult very quickly. Oh, quick mode will make the dice rolling automatic. Higher speed means that you can clash with lower speed dies. Like if someone attacks your librarian mate, you can catch them and take attack on yourself. Okay. I, I think I understand. A character may inflict or receive two types of damage, physical damage and stagger damage. So that's the red and yellow. Attacks with stagger damage will reduce reduce the target's stagger resist. When stagger resist hits zero, the character falls into a staggered state. A staggered character will receive fatal damage from all forms of attack, cannot act for the rest of the current and next scene, cannot restore light at the beginning of the next scene, cannot drop pages. So they're done. They're basically stunned. All right, so I'll turn quick mode on and then I'll see what that what that looks like. Um so oh, they're stunned, so we can we can just kill them. I see. So quick mode just means that when when they're attacking, it just automatically does it. Curtain call for the reception of rats. I I I need to understand how things work before I, I turn options on. You can check the book you have obtained from the reception here. If you have failed the reception, this part will show the books you have lost instead. You can check the battle symbols your librarians have obtained from the reception here. One HP. Now it's time to conclude the reception and exit the stage. 
Okay, yeah, we don't get to do any deck building until the next part. I wonder, is it so important for them to belong to a renowned syndicate? It's all part of the city life. You have to belong to a group, or be it a syndicate or anything else. Living in the city gets too rough. Sorry, too tough otherwise. Floor of general works obtained, or opened, level one. You can now select the floor, floor of general works during reception. In this section, you can burn the books that you have obtained. You can see what the books in your possession have to offer before burning them. These books are also used for inviting the guests of subsequent episodes, so it is recommended to keep at least one copy in your possession. Um, I have 10, so it would, I, I would need to keep one of these. Here you can check the list of items that can be obtained from burning the book. Press the relevant button to begin burning your books. You can burn up to 20 books at a time. Sorry, um, I do need a kind of an explanation on this. Uh, do I only have one book? And if I want to get basically um, fight the rats again, do I need to keep this book or do I have 10? Like this is, it's a little, the interface is a little confusing because this makes me think I have 10 books, but what I believe it's actually saying is I have one book with 10 pages. One, yeah, we have one book in total. Um, so I, as I understand it, I don't actually want to burn this book unless I want to get these uh, abilities and I don't know if those abilities are necessarily very good. These books are also used for inviting guests. Okay, so it is right. So uh, I am, I want to keep the one book, this this book, and that will let me in basically fight the rats again, and then I can start burning those books again. Um, I'm assuming if I ask this question, is it worth fighting the rats again? Chat will tell me no because they are like the tutorial characters and not very valuable at all. And then we go to library, obtain the book of something. Okay. Credenza, what's this? Check the episode of brief interactions between pat uh, patron library li librarians. Click on a group of guests and then click an episode. Okay, so we can read all about the rats. Um, all right. Library. You can invite next fight with a book or burn them to get combat pages and clothes. So this is the next level. Books of the day. It seems to have selected the Book of Rats. Why has it selected the Book of Rats and not my own book? Uh, are we still fighting rats? You have 10 books of rats and you need to keep one of them to invite the next guest. You can burn nine of them freely. Okay, all right. See, I didn't, I didn't know that. I'm trying to I'm trying to increase the number of books we're burning, but I'm not sure how I'm this interface is a little funky, I won't lie. Alright, we're gonna burn a book. When you burn books on a floor, you'll see a lovely animation in that floor's color, and you may randomly obtain pages of that book. Burning a book yields different pages each time based on chance. I have highly doubt that you played two hours of it. You check my Steam. Well, let me just, I'll show you right now. Oh, well, it tells me 25 minutes because it reset, but I, I definitely played two hours. I played to the next scene. It's been a while. I forgot. I forget how these mechanics work. There are two types of pages that you may acquire from books, key pages and combat pages. 
He pages constitute a librarian's physique. They serve as equipment. Um, so Lenny's page is equipment. Combat pages are the, the cards and techniques used by librarians. Okay. The rarity of a page ranges from paperback, hardcover, limited to object, object de art. Object de art. <laughs> That's what you get. Pages of higher grades are more powerful, though rarer to acquire than burning book when burning books. Also, key pages have a set limit of how many can be owned at once, which depends on rarity. What is wow? Spicy comments in the in the chat. Um. So these are the these are the cards we can expect to get. Maybe hopefully. Uh oh, those are the cards I got. Oh, okay. So it's just it wasn't letting me burn them all or eight of them because uh, it was explaining to me how things work. So we're burning eight cards, eight books now. Loot boxes, yo! Look at all the cards we got. I, I am not, I'm not good with French. Ruin a gameplay. Hello, the Phoenix. How are you doing, uh, the Phoenix? All right, we got lots of cards. So wait, should I have done that? Or like, if if I only have one invitation now, if I fail the next game, will I not like? Oh, I see book of something. Uh, wait. Yeah, I'm a little lost here. Apparently not all Canadians speak both languages. Um, am I doing canard? Is that what I'm doing? No, that's the, that, no. Skip. Oops. Okay, I, it's a little confusing because I'm used to things going down, I guess. Okay, so this is what we're doing here. And then, okay, and then we're using the Book of Rats, I think. There we go. Early game is very easy. Oh yeah, I know. I stopped the, I stopped playing the game as soon as I started to die. <laughs> Foiled again. I didn't go through all the trouble of becoming a fixer to go do mundane chores like this. You know how it is, only a select few get to rise up in the ranks. But still, we might see the light one day if we start out with smaller tasks, don't you think? I envy your optimism, Finn. But a request like, please find my lost cat before night falls, is seriously not it. Garbage offices get garbage requests. Yeah, Finn, you probably had better things in mind when you became a fixer. You know, a, better, a bigger field to play on. I'm sure I can move to a nicer office or become an associate fixer someday. If I keep working hard, then I might... That's odd. There's this envelope in my pocket. It says, the invitation. It smells fishy. Can't overlook something like this. Besides, if that what's written on the invitation is true, those books would be of interest to several associations. It is interesting, but we don't exactly know what's in the library, right? They keep saying books in quotation marks. Uh, St. Canard was the city that Darkwing Duck lived in. Yo. We should report this to the office first and take care of it formally. I ain't about to feed a garbage office that won't feed me. We're going to fir we're going first if you don't want to. They call themselves fixers. Do you happen to be friends with them? What? Look, assuming all fixers know each other is it's like picking two random pedestrians and hoping they know each other. Your question is basically asking these two strangers. You're both humans, so you must know each other, right? You get what I mean? I should expect to see many different kinds of fixers if oh, what you're saying is true. Pretty much. You can pass the starting fights without thinking too much. Ten, first ten receptions are very easy, but at some point it becomes much more difficult. So we're fighting grade nine Yun's fixer and grade nine 
Yun's fix here. So these are, oh, I see these are the grade nine Yun's. Is that the syndicate that they're from? Um, should I be trying to equip Roland somehow? I guess I can't. Like, can I not, can I equip him with rat moves or uh, equipment? I'm assuming no. The, uh, hmm. Oh, these are, okay, sorry. These are cards that I got from the rats. All right. So if I wanted to, I could swap in some cards like I could take out one focus strike and put in like a gut harvesting because then that's like two slash and uh, defense. Um, the game's big twist is that it takes place in Duck Tales. Just for fun, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take out one focus strike and put in a gut harvesting just to. Just to switch things up a bit and pretend like I'm <laughs> having any kind of strategic, uh, you know, what would you call it even? Did I, did I call the zero? A uh, strategic, like, agency here. Okay, um, and then we're going to begin this, this stage play. It's not syndicate, it's a fixer office. Fixers, uh, syndicates equals criminals, fixers equals cops. Both are the same, but just one is supported by government and one is not like real. Okay, I got gotcha. you. As the bottle, ba the bottle. As the battle progresses, the emotional tension of the librarians and guests will be heightened. Positive emotional points is blue, gained upon winning a clash or having advantages in battle. Negative emotion points gained upon losing a clash or suffering disadvantages. As the emotion levels of characters rise, the overall emotion of the teams that they belong to will be heightened. When our, your team's emotional level goes up, you may choose an abnormality page to use at the beginning of the next scene. Alright. Uh, quick mode is still on. I'm trying to, uh, oh, I see, hold on. Um, so we have higher speed. Let's open up with a nice chonky attack. That's gonna use all of my light. Oh, oh, we staggered them, nice. Killed. So they hit me a couple times, but it only hit my, I don't know if it did fatal damage. It did a little bit of fatal damage. Where can I see? Oh, emotional level is one. Do we have four light this time? Oh, I didn't mean to skip. Shoot. That was my bad. Okay, so now they have a higher speed, so we're gonna wanna do a defense. There we go. So that's, that's kind of how that plays out, or it should play out anyway. So we have the same speed, so we could risk doing something like a gut harvesting. Let's see what gut harvesting looks like. Nice. Curtain call for the reception of Yun's office fixers. They are mercs, I just want to get a stab at call. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so we got some books. We can burn those books if we want. How do I equip the uh, the equipment? Can I put the equipment on, Roland? Please move over to this panel and select the librarian on this one to move to his combat page. You can see the currently equipped combat pages here. This is a, I, I did this, but how would one? Oh, load combat page list. No, that's not it. Uh, key page. There we go. This is the list of key pages currently owned by the player. So 
So can I put these on the panel shows the information of the selected key page. You can check the deck, aka combat bookshelf, passive abilities and resistances. That panel shows the information of the key page currently equipped by the librarian. Um, press the button to equip the key page to the librarian. Equip. You can see the information of the newly equipped key page here. The deck of combat pages is bound to the key page. Make sure to configure the deck after changing key pages. Oh, I see. So they have a completely different set of combat. I see. So they're, they're a completely different character now. So where, where is Roland's page? Can we unequip this? I feel like I've, I've made a terrible mistake here. Yeah, okay, so we can unequip it and then Patron Librarian of Jen uh, turns back into their normal self. Bookmarkers sound OP in that game. Just wait until you find out what the punishment is for dog-earing a book page. Set favorite. Okay, so we can equip um a page and then we have to like basically rebuild their deck so i'm assuming equipping key pages is not going to be very viable for a long time am i am i correct in that assessment you can customize your librarian's appearance and dialogue yeah i'm good with that you can jump from the librarian information tab to the combat pages here okay so we could burn some more books I'm not going to burn as many this time. I'll keep two. But is there any? Is there actually any point in burning these books yet? Because I don't think I'm going to maybe use these pages. Unless I have to use them for um, other characters in the future. You'll have to forgive my uh, incessant questioning. I'm, I'm just like trying to figure things out. It's not that needed. You're wrong. Default librarian key pages have the worst stats in the game. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll think about switching after this episode. Sir, they haven't responded back to us. Something must have happened in that library. Plenty of fixers disappear without a trace. Whether they died or ran off, further lack of response means a violation of contract. And they're facing expulsion from my office. And there is too little evidence to back up your claim about this invitation. A door appeared out of thin air when they signed the paper, and they disappeared into that. Could be rich people's shenanigans or a wing experiment with its singularity. So is that, that that's more reference to the lobotomy um, research facility? Now, question away, this is one of those games where you really want to learn all of the weird nuances. Nuances. I appreciate it. Thanks for the patience, chat. I appreciate it. Yun's office does not have any time to spare with things like that. I might still be a grade 9 fixer, but I can sense that something's off about this. Oh really? How tragic that such good instincts of grade a grade 9 fixer are wasted on your our humble office. Listen up, little frog in the well in the city. Insane events happen every second of the day, most of which you haven't heard, even heard of. You won't have time to be feeling off about something when there's numerous other things that need your attention. If you can't present visible evidence right now, it's not worth looking into. What about that envelope right in front of you, operator? What? You little brat trying to pull a cheap trick on me? I didn't do anything, I swear. Get out for a moment. Hey, this is Yun's office. Got a good lead this time. Lend me some cash so I can hire a few. No, seriously, I have a good feeling about this. True, it can end up failing like you said. I can check just one more time if you want. I'm not exactly fond of this method, but yeah. I have one guy fit for the job. All of the enemies in the first chapter are quite weak. Okay. It seems fixers must report to their office before they can even begin working. Well, that's formally the case. I could bypass that since I ran a one-man office, though. Fixers aren't any better than syndicates when it comes to greed. 
and it looks like this guy is trying to exploit a na naive kid too. So this is the library. Yeah, Yun said we might even get sponsorship from an association if I succeed. I'll do my best. Greetings, Fixer. I am Angela, the librarian of my role's namesake. Hello, I'm Finn, a Fixer at Yun's office. Is it true that it can find books containing lots of information in this place? Yes, of course. You were given the invitation for that exact reason. May you find your book in this place. The rats were nerfed three times because the game's director somehow died to them. Wow. Okay, we should be good with this. Floor of General Works. Okay, um... We have higher speed. Let's just go ahead and uh, hit him hard. Staggered. Destroyed. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Ba -ba -ba. Do, do, do. Do. Actually, let's just... Uh, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Done. Book of Finn obtained. Time to beat up a kid. I'm not revealing that the message. We did we did just beat up a, a kid, yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh boy, it's not like not all that delightful to see such a young rookie fall like that, all things considered. You said yourself that our way is quite polite and fair before, didn't you? That most of the time people's lives are taken away by others without any consent or agreement. A library is different. People who enter this place have agreed to risk death to gain what they want. They even signed the paper to show such agreement. No coercion, coercion, sorry, or compulsion is involved in this process. They make their own choice and pay accordingly. Well, yeah, fair point, but still, it kind of feels dirty in a way. Each floor will present you with a set of assignments. Completing the assignment will unlock an abnormality battle. When the assignments are completed for a floor, a battle against an abnormality will become available. Clearing abnormality abnormality battles will raise the floor's realization level. This is the library's current hazard level, as perceived by the city. Raising the realization level of each floor will increase the library's presence as a threat. The library's hazard level will rise once the cage is filled. Do I want to do this now? Can I do this now? Oh, am I not fighting an abnormality now? We'll do uh, we'll do one more, and then I'll I'll start tweaking our our decks and stuff. Rest in peace, Finn. Finn has failed as expected. He wasn't going to last too long anyway. He was just mediocre. He should have gotten a decent, decent modification surgery or had enough talent to make up for his lack of experience. But he didn't have any of that. He was nothing more than an overconfident brat. Too bad. I kind of liked the, his affable and cutesy attitude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, though I agree he was bound to die sooner or later. You can do the abno fight? I, I I tried. I don't know what I was supposed to click. I'm sorry. Congratulations. By the way, you must have more options now that you're a grade 8 fixer. Yep. So you'd be better you'd better be careful if you don't pay me well enough, I might move to another office. Heard that you're barely covering your own taxes these days, let alone the monthly rent from the for this office space. Am I wrong? I believe the case I had Finn handle could make a breakthrough. You mean the library and the invitation you talked about earlier? but you said the invitation appears randomly, no? How are you going to get another one? I wouldn't have called you if I didn't have certainty. I received, I recently received another invitation. Is that so? The existence of our office depends on this case. The library is sure to be profitable. I have a hunch, so we're giving it everything we have. All right, let's roll in some dough. I just bought this lovely thing here uh, from a workshop too. I think they meant brought. Click on the exclamations, okay. I'll do that as soon as I'm done. These guests seem quite determined. We should prepare accordingly. A whole office coming at us, huh? 
It may be a small and insignificant one, but it could prove to be a little tough for the library right now. What if they make it all the way to our to your room? The guests cannot act outside of the space we've prepared for them. It's how this place works. After all, this space is created with limitless power. Yet you somehow jumped right into my room when you weren't even invited. Anyways, I'm capable of protecting myself, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Greetings, dear guests. You must be the owner of this place. She doesn't even look that strong. Finn must have been here earlier. What happened to him? Uh, that one has become a book. I see. So you turn into a book if you die here. Acting all sentimental when you were the one who sent him here, knowing he'd fail. Shut up. We all get exploited and abandoned at some point in our lives. Uh, I wouldn't have clicked that either. <laughs> May you find your book in this place. Some receptions are composed of multiple acts. You can check the number of acts in the reception here. Remaining acts two. Or sorry, one of two. Okay. So let's hit that act. We rolled low. Uh, now, does that mean they're going to be able to attack first? I'm still kind of figuring out the speed dice. So they get to attack first. So it doesn't matter if I defend when they attack. So what should I do in that circumstance? If I've rolled quite low, like in this circumstance, when is the, what is the appropriate time to use defense? Oof, so I'm staggered now. I, I'm, I'm dead, I died. I'm dead now. Defeat. All right. Should I swap some stuff out now? So I lost a book of Finn. Um, all right, so let's do the exclamation point. Uh, doesn't the RNG in this game affect your opinion on it negatively? Not necessarily. Um, if there's enough strategy to make up for the RNG, then it doesn't affect my uh, opinion on the game. When you're feeling like a weenie, <laughs> you seem to be doing your job meekly and well for someone who complains so much. What else do you expect after greeting me in such a violent manner? Heck, I was shocked hard. I find myself in the middle of nowhere and the first person I meet blows off my limbs. I was lost at first, but I get the gist of receiving guests now that I've tried it a few times. Though I do, do still have a complaint. Complaint? Sheesh, man. Against, uh, Again with that stare, can't say a thing. Just tell me what you mean. I mean, well, it's kind of tough to receive all the guests alone. Guests are arriving one by one, I can deal with. But when a whole group enters, the first thing that comes to my mind is how the hell am I supposed to fight all of them? There's got to be a point where one person is no longer enough, right? It's only working right now because all we've been facing here were minor syndicates and stuff. And the whole fuss about heightening emotions. You said I can't just kill the guests right away because of that. What's that odd face hinting at? There is a way, technically speaking, although I'm not certain if it's for the best. You're going to join me in the fights yourself? No, there are entities that could be of help. However, and those entities are... The beings that used to wield tremendous strength and power, but are now too transient to maintain a physical form, hardly holding on to existence. I don't remember seeing any living being in this library other than you and me. They're asleep inside books where the perfect environment for them is sim simulated, along with librarians who will be of assistance to you. Who want to be a, f a first librarian? Oh, I see. So this lets me create a librarian and then I can name, uh, I can make it someone from chat. Yes, so librarians, entities inside books. That's all you need to know about them for now. What matters more is that you can be, they can be useful for the library's growth. All right, let's say that's the case. How are those sleeping entities supposed to help us exactly? You have to enter their books and free the librarians trapped within. I believe they're under the influence of the abnormality's powers for various reasons. Since they're highly unstable, they won't easily trust us. You're basically saying they'll take us for invaders, correct? 
If you can overcome all ordeals presented by them, they will come to accept you. Instructions still unclear, ma'am. You said they're uh, as mighty as wet paper now. You sure they can give us any help? We are not making the abnormalities receive guests for us. If they can be understood and accepted, they will empower the librarians directly or indirectly. Still too ambiguous, I've got to say. Anyway, what you're saying is that they'll present us with ordeals, basically, and we have to overcome them to earn their recognition and borrow their powers. Uh, entering book. Sounds like something out of a fairy tale. We'll need their power to heighten the emotions of our guests to the peak, after all. I wish you to succeed in here and there. Sure, sure, anything you say, ma'am. Okay. Will you enter the book of bloodbath? Oh, goody. Sure. Well, we're fighting a bloodbath. A knife driven by a vaguely aroused will doesn't have what it takes. Scars are but marks of failure. You won't be any different. So we have a mini battle here. Please click on the opposing character. Uh, each character and key page has different resistances to the physical and stagger damage dealt by each type of damage uh, attack. You can deal extra damage by attacking with damage types the opponent is weak to. Denoted by fatal and weak. On the contrary, attacking with damage types those whose resistance is set to endured or ineffective will cause less damage. Use resistances to your advantage, advantage in receptions. By selecting on the character, you can view their list of passive abilities they possess. When you observe a character, you can also check the resistances to various types, uh, da various damage types. Uh, pierce damage resist normal. Blunt damage resist weak. Blunt damage resist fatal. So, when these are highlighted, does that mean that they are weak to those things? And then these ones mean that they are quite strong against those types? So I don't want to be using flashing damage, I want to be using uh, piercing and blunting. So this one would make more sense. So it did say that they were weak to that. I think. Um, all right, let's try this just to try and understand. I, I want to understand when is appropriate to uh, defend. Um, all right. We are rolling high speed. It seems like they can only run a uh, roll a one. So I want to continue doing piercing damage. And I guess the defense will do staggering damage as well. Um, slashing. Okay, we'll we'll do a slashing just to see what it looks like. Oh wait a minute, what? Oh, I don't have enough light for that. Okay, let's try this then. Staggering deflect. So I've been staggered. So now I have. Uh, there's nothing I can do. So uh, I'm like I'm done for this turn, right? So now they're gonna start doing some nasty damage to me. Uh, have I like done basically no damage to them? So okay, let's let's do like a defensive move. Wow. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. What is going on there? I think I'm just losing dice.
Okay, we'll do we'll do this because that's what they're weak to. Okay, we won the dice on that, and we're doing some actual damage back. This is a good excuse to change the deck to a blunt one. So, is uh, equipping a key page just a good excuse to have different like sets of cards, like different loadouts, basically? So they're staggered. We might actually win this. So let's do like a big ol' attack. Even though they're not weak to that, we'll still do some damage. No, we won't. Never mind. They were completely, uh, they were able to completely block all of that. I can't, couldn't really do anything else. I didn't have any other like uh, blunt or slash, um, blunt or piercing. I don't have enough light to do anything, so I'll try to evade. Let's hope I succeed. I did not succeed. All right, let's uh, let's. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a new loadout specifically to fight this abnormality, as is being recommended to me. Um. So. What am I what am I meant to look for when it comes to a, a key page like are these basically all of the all the same and they're just kind of uh, dictating uh, aesthetics because from what I can see here all of them say 42 22 1 to 4 right they're all the same what we should do actually is let's go ahead and burn a I think book of Finn is probably our best book we can just, we'll burn like one of these. Uh, we unfortunately did not get a key page from that. So let's burn a few book of fixers. I'm getting drunk again. Okay, so we got some pages from this. Uh, oh, these have passive abilities as well, okay. So that's actually really good. So let's go ahead and equip a um, Yun. Yun's Office Fixer. 50% chance to boost slash damage. Well, that's not really good because that's the only damage that the abnormality is strong against. That being said, they are still better than the rats. So let's go ahead and equip one. All right. So now we want to look at, um, how do I, okay, here we go. So now we want to equip a lot of penetrating attacks, penetrate attacks and bash attacks. This one's good because it's got an evade in it as well. This one's good because it's got two evades and a bash. We'll throw a couple of those. Those are bash. Um, and we also want some piercing. So we'll do, this is two to three and this is three to six. So we'll do that one. We want to keep our light um, spending fairly low. This is great because it's got, uh, those are two, well, they're two one, one to four. So they're not exactly great. Uh, whereas this one is like one to eight. So we could do like one of those. This is great because it's, pierce and bash but you know just because it's pierce and bash doesn't mean it does very much damage right the ones that are like two cost they're two to six and two to four um compared to like this which is two to three and one to four um could do something like a struggle let's take a yeah i don't know mm, i like this this wallop i think this is okay we have a little bit of defense Nothing fancy. Project Moon fans are the devs for this game. Oh, I didn't know that. So I'm gonna type uh, bash pen for that. So uh, is that more or less how one builds a good deck? Press P auto selects fighting moves, really?
So it auto-selected charge and cover. Okay. Interesting. I am actually starting to get the hang of this. This is, uh, this is going well. So yeah, auto-selecting an attack works for me. It's, it is doing a good job. We've almost staggered them already. If the enemy is only defending, you can pa pass the turn to regen some light. Oh, interesting. How does that work? Because, like, I'm using attacks and sometimes I'll gen, like, four light and sometimes I'll gen, like, two light. Is it based on our speed? It's not, right? There's no way it is. Wow. And we don't even have to click on them to, to auto-select an attack. So you can just, like, set up your deck in a, in a good way and then, like, just let the game decide. We're doing a lot better this time. Okay, we're staggered. Early Abno fights help you learn mechanics. Later, they help you burn your ass and delete the game. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so we are. Um... Hold on, let me let me pop out chat for a moment because I actually have didn't have it popped out. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're stunned for the turn. That's okay. We should be able to survive. Or do we're, we're taking attacks much better this time. We should kill them this time. No. Oh, they, they did some nasty damage to us. How do we know if they're doing defense? Nice. There it is. You generate one light unless you are on higher emotion levels. Emotion levels are another can of worms. See you, Mimesis. Take it easy. Uh, if we see you again, that that would be cool. But if not, uh -huh, have a good day. You regain light if your character's emotion goes up. The same happens when you stagger an enemy. We will need to create fan art. Oh, I meant to open uh, the stream, guys, with something. Hold on a second. Um, give me, give me a second here. Image. Check, check this out, y'all. You probably saw this, but if you didn't, um, fit to screen. Mimesis did some fan art of me, uh, microwaving some iced coffee, which is just awesome. I really appreciate it, Mimesis. This was, this was fantastic. I hope I, 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 I caught them before they, they left. I, I meant to start the stream with this, but I, I got mind flooded when uh, I saw that chat was filled with people already. Uh, hover over their dice to see what page they're playing. Oh, you, so you can see what kind of dice they're playing? But if they played defense dice and I play nothing, don't won't they stagger me? new assignment has been added. Um, so the first one was blood. So am I selecting one of the... No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just acknowledging that there's, you know, things to do here. So um, I guess I'm done. Like, I can't uh, do anything more for that abnormality. What happens if I register multiple books? Like, what happens here? Defenses only give stagger if it deflects an attack or another defense. Oh, I see. So if there's no attack or defense, then... Oh, I see. Okay, I've got, I've got our second librarian. All right. So how does one edit them? Uh, 
Librarian info. Aha, customize librarian. I'm a ten. I, f I feel like you should be the first librarian because you you were uh, definitely the impetus for why I'm playing this game in the first place. So basically, I got a random librarian, and they're not a main character. So it means that um, I can make them whatever I want. They're they're now now a second combat uh, helper in in. The, the game so let's uh let's let's see Let, we're gonna we're gonna edit this person name list is that just like i could make them i could pick from these names name and title library i am a tan <laughs> library newbie my, i'm a tan customize your nugget <laughs> Um, I cannot see at all. There you go. Floor of General Works is not going to have major spotlight until the end game, so I'm fine with this. What kind of hair do you want, I'm a tan? Do you want me to try and mimic your uh, avatar? There you go. Face and expressions. There you go. This this is perfect. Um, sure. Second, you got to be the egg. second Kevbo. You want Kevbo to be second one? Second should be Phoenix or Mimisy. I like I like this one. I think that is a good face for Imatan. There we go. This is great. This works really well, actually. Appearance and projection. Melee page fashion. Um, I kind of like what they're wearing now, if I'm honest. Is there any? I'm a tan. Is there any of these you want me to wear, uh, put on? They're, they've all contributed a lot more to this game than I will. Wow, I mean, that's not necessarily true. I hate annoyance, so let's get this business done. <laughs> no, we gotta switch this one up. Um, let's get clean up over with and have a nice break. There we go. I don't want to die. No, that's that's not I'm a tan. I couldn't be... No, no, no. I want the rest to stay focused on the battle. This That sounds like an I'm a tan thing. There you go. Um, I won't forgive them. I'll kill everyone responsible for this. Perfect. That's what you get for standing in my way. That's actually perfect. This is dialogue, combat entrance. Oh, I see. Okay, just do what you wanna do. All right, well, I kinda like what they're wearing now. And since you, your avatar is black and white, I think that suits you fine. The changes have been saved. So now we have to like actually make a deck for you um i guess uh, as soon as i put a key page on on the on you it's it's gonna we're gonna ruin that library look um combat page list so uh roland right now is bash maybe i should give um i'm a 10 slash I kind of like Lenny's page. I like that it almost looks like uh, the, that the Doctor Who character. It really, literally, just because they have the 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 scarf. Okay, we'll equip you with this. Unfortunately, that means we're gonna 
um, have the same camo look, but that's okay. We match now. So I'm gonna set you with some, set you up with some slashing. We'll do like one of these, one of those slash and pen. Those are some nice high baller attacks. And then we'll do, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. slash and bash. Pen. Oh, we'll just like give you a well-rounded kit, I think. Pen and defense. Um, defense slash and evade. Sure. Double pen. I'm just. I'm honestly just picking at random. I'm not. I'm not being too. Uh... Oh, inflict bleed. That sounds good. Can select the key page appearance in the librarian info too. Oh, I can. There we go. Thank you for that. Um, so I think they're pretty much good to go. Um, I, I don't know if I even want to save this, but I guess I will. I'll just call this rounded. Okay. Um, so save current set. We already did that. Cancel. Invitations. Let's try this again. And if I complete, if I defeat this, then um, I'm going to uh, call it there for Library of Ruina. Um, okay, we'll skip this because we've already seen it. So now we have two library. Libra librarians, we should have a better chance this time. The overall emotion level of the team they belong to will be heightened as well. You may choose an abnormality page to use at the beginning of the next scene. There are two types of abnormality pages, awakening and breakdown. Awakening pages typically consist of purely beneficial effects for the user. Breakdown pages offer powerful effects that come with drawbacks. Each floor offers a different set of abnormality pages to choose from. Uh, and the likelihood of each type of page being presented depends on the ratio of positive and negative emotion points. There is a lot in this game. Okay. Um, so we can see what they've done. They've done an evade and slash. Okay, so there, there's the missing piece. I didn't know that you could literally see what kind of attack they were going to do. So they've done an evade and slash. So if we were to pick like a attack and defense, then that might be a good idea because then we're just hoping we beat their dice. Um, also, what are they weak to? Um, resist normal, resist fatal, resist weak. So they're weak to slashing and blunt. So actually, we don't want to do that. We want to do slashing to that character. Right? Slashing and... So we're, we're doing slashing and piercing, but that's fine. And then the other one is weak to penetrating and blunt. And they're doing an evade and slash. We don't really... I guess we do have... Um, we have a double penetration here. Don't don't make it weird. All right, I could just like automatically select attacks. I would prefer you be on the art floor, but this is fine too. What do what do you mean by that? Nice. So that that all seems pretty good. I took like a a attack. But I think we got some uh, some uh, good vibes. All right. Um, so this one's weak to pen. So we want to do pen and defense. This is a we've got a double pen there. 
but they're about to do a massive attack so we might want to do like a double evade this one's going to do a double pin as well they need to take uh slashing so we'll do a double slash and uh defense we'll see what happens there actually that's bad because the defense is actually not going to do anything So they resist penetration, so I feel like, yeah, we don't really have a good setup here. So we'll do double slash on them. We could have two attack, two characters attack the same character, but I don't think that that's necessarily very helpful. Um, so this person is weak to pen, so we'll do a pen and then defense. That was good. We staggered them. That's going to increase our morale. Uh, those were all good So now we get to select an abnormality because we uh, have pretty high um, morale So take two to five less damage from slash attacks when hit reduce the damage of the attack to zero at a 20% chance or After three successful attacks on the same target deal three to ten bonus stagger damage resets upon attacking a different target I like the scars more. I think that that'll be more uh, helpful. So we'll select the Librarian, we'll select uh, Roland. So these, uh, is this the second act? No, these are the same enemies we're attacking. It takes a strong will and courage to cut. Um, I'm not reading that actually. <laughs> That's weird. I actually don't care for that one. Um, so this one is weak to everything now. So we, we, we want to hit them hard. And this one is going to be doing what? Oh, they're both staggered. Amazing. All right, let's destroy them. Excellent. You will get what I mean when you unlock the art literature floor. Okay. All right. So that went much better this time. Having two librarians is certainly helpful, but that was only the first act. So we're gonna do the second act now. So now we're fighting the, the actual big, the big lad, but we have high morale. Do, we, do I still have my abnormality? Yes, I do. We rolled well. Um, so this guy is weak to slashing. This one is weak to everything else. So we want to take sla- uh, sorry, is that slashing? Yeah, slashing. We want to do slashing to um, Big Lad. This will inflict bleed. So we can do that. And then this one is uh, weak to everything else. So we can do like a double bash on them. I'm, I'm betting on everything on black. Staggered. Nice. They clashed, or they 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 drew drawed uh, after three successful hits. Okay, so we got the second abnormality, and we can uh, either add it. I don't know if adding it to Roland will replace the first one, so I'll add it to the uh, to Imatan. You can confirm to me or deny if if adding a second abnormality will um, replace the first one. Okay, um, let me see here. This one is after three successful attacks. So we want to do like a three hit one. This is good. And they're weak to everything, so this should kill them. Then this one, oh, but this one's weak to slash. So maybe I should do that instead to them. Uh, how do I undo that? Okay, undo. Uh, and we're going to do that to them instead since they're weak to slash. And then this one is like almost dead and they're weak to everything. So I'm just going to have uh, our, our boy Roland take them out. Take them out to dinner. Done. They evaded and they hit us back for quite a chunk of damage. That's okay, we're, we're now in a good position. We can uh, start hitting them pretty hard. 
Um, we don't have any slash, so... I'll... Oh, and I don't have enough light for my only slash attack. Not good. They have higher speed. So does that mean if I was to send in... Let me see if I understand. No, I don't think that's gonna work. In no matter how I cut it, I can. I'll have them um, hold back, I guess. And Roland has plenty of attack, so we'll have him go in. They are weak to slash, so they're not. This is no matter what. This isn't gonna be ideal. We took a bunch of stagger damage, but that's okay. We didn't take any fatal damage. All right, so now we can actually do some stuff here. We'll do a slash attack, and we'll do a pan attack. And we're just, you know, we we should be able to take him out here. Although he is pretty tough. That was good. That was really nice damage. Nice. We done did it. You can stack them to a point in the game that you can make an Exodia with the abnormality pages. Damn. Curtain call for the reception of Yun's office. So I think, I believe I've officially um, gotten farther than I did when I first got the game. Don't make fun of me. Excellent. This guest named Yun could make an especially valuable book for us. They're all like moths diving into flames. That Yun guy seemed like a clever sort, but even he ended up blindly jumping into the fire to get what he wanted. Once you've had a taste of desire, it comes in like an unstoppable wave. It's a quote I heard a long time ago. But is that desire true to one's heart? Well, aren't you funny? You said you despise roundabout speech, and now you're being all po poetic. Ten out of ten delivery. A certain librarian I know would have taken an arm and a leg off if she heard that. Get back to sorting books. It's just as Angela said, we really got uh, got another floor to the library. My name's Roland. Who's this? Angela, I still can't forgive you. This is Malkuth. Malkuth? Angela. I thought we were already done with that topic. You simply need to cooperate without complaint. That was the deal, remember? And try to appreciate that fleshy body of yours you finally earned back. Did you really think you could make me happy by just giving me a human body? Did, did you really think I wanted my body back? Uh, sen sen senpai. Don't forget, I still don't agree with you. As you wish. Turn the voice acting right now. Okay. There you go. I'm the patron librarian in charge of the floor of history. Malkuth? He seemed lively at least. What was going on just now? I have some unfinished business with Angela. You probably heard bits of it, but I have no choice but to follow her orders no matter how I feel. Just because you gave me the gift of sa sapient life, I'm supposed to be happy or whatever? I'm not happy. I'm not happy I'm alive. That's... no. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe these extra emotes are, are not as good as I thought. Or maybe I'm just not good to use them. Uh, I'm in the same shoes as you, yours, though we seem to have ended up here for different reasons. So what can I do for you? You can bring me books, Roland. Yo, don't be spicy, Kevbo. We we did a lot of not not uh, uh, subs. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, <laughs> Korean voice acting. You can bring me books, Roland. Since I'm in charge of the floor of history, I'll be sorting the books you bring and collecting those that are about history. Us librarians will then read the collected books, gradually making our floors whole and completing the library itself. 
uh, as an extension. Waifu Bimple is perfect. We'll naturally get to unlock more floors and awaken their pa uh, patron librarians in that process. So the other librarians are asleep for now? Yep, they are. I get the gist of it. You're surprisingly bright for someone who uh, was so upset moments ago, by the way. I was kind of worried I might have to endure some of that wrath. Can't let my personal affairs get in the way of our work now. I still have my problems with Angela, but it's not like getting mad about it will do me any good. I've got my own reasons to do my best with this work, too. Sad that the scene is in the next abnormality fight. What are the rules for gifting you games? If I remember right, there are some. Just wondering. Uh, the only rule is, for now, is if you think it's a game that really suits my channel, then there's a good chance I could probably bug the, the publisher for it. So, rather than having you spend money on the game, let me know what you want to do, and then I'll vet it, basically. So just let me know what you want to do, and then uh, if it's something weird for, like, say, a third segment, then I'm happy receiving a game like that, so long as it's TOS. No, I'm not going to do any uh, explicit games, if that makes sense. So, but, um, yeah, that's that's basically it. It's not a really hard rule. It's, it's a one we have to navigate, because I'm still not used to the whole gifting thing yet. Not that fake bimple. Fake bimple. It's like Shadow. Hey, faker. What are you doing here? Life is simple. Yeah, you say that every time. Imagine Shadow, except instead of, of Chaos Control, he, he just shouts, Life is simple, and then he flashes out like edgy... Hey, hey, faker, Bimple, what are you doing here? Life is simple. There we go, we found a use for it. <laughs> Why are there no Bimples on thumbnails lately? I want to I wanna talk about that. Kind of feel soulless or Bimpleless even. Um, yeah, I want to talk about that. But we're gonna finish the scene and then and then I'll talk about it. Okay, then let's give it our best shot. Yeah You can now select the floor of history during reception a patron librarian has awoken The middle portion allows you to navigate the information of the floors that are currently available More floors will be unlocked when certain conditions are met new librarians are shown on new floors you can view the information on the newly opened floors here. You can check the librarian's floor assignments and abnormality pages. Um, okay, can someone explain this one to me? Because I don't think I understand. It seems like this one, I only have Malkuth as an option called Titan Chaser. That it is right up your alley is very atmospheric from a Ukrainian dev and to top it off all very cheap. Let me see. It is super cheap. And it looks atmospheric. Yeah, you know what? Um, but if you want to do that, then I would be very grateful. The reason being, um, if it's this cheap, then... I usually tend to buy it myself instead of bugging the probably solo dev because you know they working hard on that on their game and I don't want to necessarily just like ask for it when it costs like the, the price of a coffee uh, if you want to do that so that I play it during a segment I won't say no but if it's something you're um, rec requesting I play then I'd be happy to pick it up myself that's my non-committal way of saying if you want to buy it, you can. But if if you want to save the the coffee, then I'll buy it myself, and I just I'll just thank you for your recommendation. It's in my wish list now. Either way. Uh, so floor of history is arson floor, my favorite federal punishable crime. Basically, you burn your enemies alive in this floor. What? Okay, that doesn't really explain to me how the mechanically it works. Um. Can I only use Malkuth on this floor? Is this a different storyline? Like, I, I don't understand what these floors signify. 
All the floors have their own abnormality battles that unlock the librarians and abnormality pages. So... Do I... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm very confused. Like, are these levels? These are abnormalities, right? So if I, like I played Keter, whatever it is, Keter, and I fought an abnormality and I unlocked a librarian, right? That being said, there's a lot more to do here, maybe, at some point. I don't know, the game is not very clear about when I'm allowed to do that. I can select it, but outside of that, I can't really do much, right? But I see I have Roland and Imatan available to me when I play Keter. Malkuth, different floor, different objectives. Is this a same thing? Like I can fight the abnormality on it at some point when the game decides eventually that that is a thing I can do? Imagine them as teams to receive the guest. You can fight the guest with different teams. Okay. I think I understand. Okay, so the abnorm all right, correct me if I'm wrong. I I'm going to I'm going to try and I'm trying to understand what this means. So these are different teams and the objectives are things I can achieve when I'm doing the invitations. Is that correct? When I've done enough enough uh objectives when I've completed enough objectives the abnormality becomes available to fight is that more or less correct so for this one I have to obtain the book of something whenever that becomes available and once I do then the abnormality will become available to fight and then that will allow me to unlock another librarian and make that team bigger stronger five librarians each floor and they have their own unique strategies later down the line. You can fight the guests with different teams. Correct. All right. All right. Okay. Um, I would say that uh, this game is it, it both over explains and uh, under explains, and I find the interface a little bit confusing. That's my nitpick. Um, but this is why I'm glad I streamed this game instead of playing it as a series because I, I have chat to let, like clarify some things for me. Knowing this, this is a lot more clear to me. Um, I, I feel like they didn't really explain this well, but I, I get it now. So you know, we have invitations, we have teams, we have librarians, and everything is more or less clear. Um, I, I think I'm pretty good now. Wondering if I should burn any books. Can I look at these pages? No, I can't look at them before I burn them. Um, can I use any book as a form of an invitation? Like, can I, I can use like, hmm. this is the only thing I think I'm not clear on is like how, I, I know I can burn books in order to basically got to, you know, open a loot crate of pages and stuff, right? Um, that makes sense. But what I don't understand is when I go to the invitations, they ask me to register a book. Uh, first of all, what is the point of registering multiple books? Like I could do a book of Aerie, I could do a book of Yun's office, I could do... What is the point of doing three books? That's my first question. Second question is... If I wanted to get more books, like for instance, I want to go and fight the rats again, do I, I do need to have Book of Rats, right? So that lets me send the invitation. So this, if I was to do this, I could fight the rats again and then get more books, correct? But if I was to add something else here, like Book of Something, what would this do? You don't have it unlocked yet. It's this gotcha mechanics, but you have limited amount of key pages or combat pages you can get. Oh, okay, so, all right, here's here's my last question. Um, if I use the book of rats to send an invitation and fight the rats again, does it use up the book? I don't think it matters if it does because I'm more or less guaranteed to get books back, 
but I'm just wondering if it does. It's just like a small clarification thing that I, I you know, I, I need to understand kind of how this works. You can spend same books to replay uh, invitations. And I'm assuming I get my current team, so that means I would just like absolutely stomp them into oblivion. Hey, bot. Um, you can spend same books to replay invitations. Books of rats does not equal reception of rats. What? Resolvable Rewards Book of Rats. It doesn't use the book if you win. It only uses the book if you lose. Hmm. This uses Book of Yuri's Office. This, uh, this is a little semi-confusing for me, but I think I'm just gonna not care <laughs> about it because I don't think it's very important. Like, am I wrong? It's not very important because it seems like when I click on rats, if I want to fight them again, it just automatically selects uh, Book of Something. So that means in order to get more Book of Rats, I actually don't need Book of Rats as an invitation, unneeded. Um, whereas if I want to fight these guys, I need the Book of Rats. So actually, weirdly, if I want more Book of a Grade 9 Fixer, I would need more Book of Rats. It's a weird way of things working, but that's how they work. <laughs> 